This morning we'll try something a little bit different. Just finished the workout. It's Florida, so it's nice and toasty. But today I wanna to talk about being their example. And I think this is so important. Sorry for the shakiness. Hopefully CapCut can fix that, but I'm still shaking from the workout. Be the example, right? So who is the biggest role model, especially when your kids are younger, in their life it's not the youtubers it's not athletes it's mom and dad it's the people that are raising them it's the people that are talking to them the people that are in their ear that are in their head that are forming their beliefs that are forming their habits that are people that they look up to based on what it is that they do and so today ashton's at home colt's at home right now and i'm in the backyard doing a workout so what do they see not necessarily what do they emulate yet but they see dad getting his butt kicked in the backyard, trying to be fit, trying to be healthy, trying to trying to move his body, trying to do those right things. Do they see you in the kitchen cooking healthy foods or, or do they see you at Taco Bell and McDonald's and you know all the fast food joints? Do they see you you know, working hard and creating something and building something and working towards something? Or do they see you complaining and whining and blaming other people, circumstances, things that it is? you need to be their example. So if you want them to have more of an entrepreneurial mindset, they need to see the entrepreneurial mindset. If you want them to be active and fit and healthy, they need to see you being active and fit and healthy. They need to be surrounded by an environment that cultivates those types of things that you want for them in their life. And I think that is so important for parents as we you know, try to do the best we can. Now, are we gonna be perfect? Absolutely not. Are we gonna mess up? Absolutely. Are we gonna, you know, lose our temper? Absolutely. Are we gonna go weeks without working out? Absolutely. But the more that we can be the example for them, the better opportunity they have to soak all of that in, to get that into their brain. What do you listen to in the car? Are you just listening to junky pop music or are you listening to audiobooks or podcasts or, you know, whatever it is? Like I've been listening to a ton of sports figure biographies in the car. So we, we did the LeBron, uh, we're doing Kobe right now, we did Bo Jackson, like all of these big influential sports figures. And they're like soaking it up and listening to it and hearing that Kobe woke up every day and was going to the gym and he'd go to practice and then he'd leave practice and go to the park and play a couple pickup games and then head back to another gym to do free throw work before bed. And like hearing those kinds of things, like we're trying to put as much of that into their brain as possible. Now, are they going to do everything right? Absolutely not. They're kids. They're going to do dumb things. They're going to make mistakes. They're going to trip and fall down. Like so do we, right? Like we like, far from perfect, make mistakes every single day. But the more that we can implant that into their minds, the better opportunity that we have for them to soak in those things. So if you want them to be more active, you want them to be more entrepreneurial, you want them to eat healthier, like be the example. If you're just playing video games all night, what are they gonna do, right? What are they gonna think is the right behavior? Uh, and again, maybe that's what you want. Maybe you want them to be a professional gamer. Like I'm not here to judge like what it is, but if they're not having the character traits, if they're not possessing the qualities that you want, think about the environment that you have them in and that you're putting them in. And are you the example of what a, a, a great life looks like, what an ambitious life looks like, what a active entrepreneurial life looks like, whatever that is for you. So think about that. And then just think about like throughout the day, are you doing those, those types of things? Do they see you in that positive light? So be their example. That's my message for today. Um, we got the uh, Playmakers on today. It's nice and hot. It's sunny. As you can see, we got the white frames, Arte on the side, Arte on the front, red mirror lenses. Uh, sold out of youth. We're not bringing the youth back. We still have adults left. I think there's like 10 or 11 pairs of adults of these left. ArteShades.com. Use the code SPRINGSALE. Get you 10 bucks off. Makes them like $30 for sunglasses. Super cheap. Love these. Use them every day. Can't wait to show you guys the summer style worm all day yesterday. I'm going to shoot a video probably later today for tomorrow's uh, upload with all the changes that we made uh, to the glasses based on the unboxing. So that was our last video was the unboxing of all the summer styles. Um, so we did a bunch of changes there. And uh, so I want to show you guys what those are. So you, again, just want to take you behind the process, like what Colt and I are doing. Um, we were in the parking lot last night. Uh, we had a, like a little rain delay before his practice. And we were going back and forth with the manufacturer and like getting new designs mocked up and um, some really, really cool stuff. We're doing some fun stuff with the bags and, uh, you know, the cleaning rags and uh, like such cool stuff. Super proud of, of the kid. And we're coming up with some really cool ideas. It's so fun. Summer's going to be fun. Summer's going to be a whole lot of fun. That's it for today. Drop a comment, drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's get this channel to a thousand. We'd really appreciate that. I'll be back with Colt soon. You guys have a great day.